Oh, hi there. I am um, Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I never really planned to do this video, but it's quite disturbing, actually. But I've got two audios, and I'm going to share them with you, and I'm not going to say much. I'm going to let the um, videos speak for themselves. It's just Hi audio. everyone, uh, my name is Marta, I live in Lambeth in London and uh, I've got the coronavirus. I have decided to make this uh, to report the situation that we are at the moment. I've got the coronavirus on a 99% but it has not been proved, tested, because they are not testing people like me. Uh, so first of all I will explain a little bit of the symptoms that I had as I can see how people are confused about it and then I'll explain my situation. Sorry, because I'm a bit out of breath and uh, I may cough uh, through this quite a few times. Uh, so the symptoms started uh, three days ago. It was purely cough. It was a very dry cough. And um, it was, uh, I had a lot of um, muscle pain and headache. This has nothing to do with a cold or with a, a flu. It's very different. I knew straight away it was something different. Uh, there is no uh, sore throat, no blocked nose, no sneezing, purely, purely dry cough. <coughs> uh, so as soon as this started on Friday, I called 111 and uh, they advised me to stay at home. On the next day, I really felt really bad, so everything escalated really quick. I still didn't have temperature, uh, so I carry on at home. On the next day, I already had temperature. I couldn't stop coughing. It was morning and night. I felt pressure on my lungs and on my chest. On the next morning, so we are talking about three days after, I had a noise on my lung when I was breathing. I had a, like a small pain, as if I had like a ball inside of my lungs. <clears throat> so I tried to call 111 and uh, I went for two hours. They didn't pick it up. Finally, I decided to go to a &E because they advised me that if I had temperature and the situation was going worse, I should go to a &E. Went to a &E, doctor showed me, uh, they made an x-ray. They saw that I had an infection on my lungs, on the left lung, that uh, it wasn't a, a bacteria infection because it didn't show my blood. So it was a virus and I certainly had all of the symptoms of uh, coronavirus. <coughs> but um, I could still uh, walk and um, I could still breathe more or less. So the solution will be to not to test me because they were not testing people like me. So yes, to go home. Uh, bear in mind, I have at home an 11 month old baby and uh, my husband. So the three of us had to be locked down. I'd just be there. They did not give me any indications about what to do at home and how to try to prevent my family from getting it. They did not give me any indications about if I travel in public transport, how to avoid all the people from getting it. I am very conscious that I'm wearing a mask because I, I knew it was coronavirus, but no indications at all. So the protocol of the government, this plan of no plan is basically saving money. So only if you are almost out of breath and uh, about to die, they will hospitalize you and they will test you. That means that pretty much maybe 80% of the population who is having coronavirus is not being counted. And not, all, not only not being counted, they are all around in London and probably all around UK just as spreading the disease because they have not given us any indications of how we have to behave apart from just go to your house and lock yourself. That's all. I am uh, saying this because um, I think that we should all take care of ourselves. Uh, the government is lying to us. They are not telling the truth about how many people are infected. And you can see that there is a lot more than what it looks like. I think at the moment you and your behavior will be your vaccination towards this pandemic that we have because the government is doing nothing. So please, everybody, wear your mask and wear your gloves. Avoid public places. We know how Italy, how Spain they are at the moment, and I'm sure we're going to be there anytime soon. This is not nice. Um, I don't know if in two days' time 
I'm going to have to be hospitalized. All I know is that I'm locked out in my house, uh, praying for my family not to get it. So, well, please take care of yourself. God, that's scary, isn't it? It's quite disturbing, actually, because the fact that they're not, they know that she has it 99% and they're not keeping her in hospital or containing her. They're sending her out, sending her home. Now she's got an 11-month-old child. I don't understand the logic of that then. I mean, I, I, I can understand them saying that people must self-isolate. You know, if you think you've got it, but I thought if they knew you had it, they would do something about it. But if, like her, she's got 90% um, evidence of the coronavirus and they're sending her out, fortunately, she has a child at home and a husband. So therefore, her duty was to go to straight home to her child and her husband and wear a mask and follow safety precautions or the safety procedures. But somebody else might not do that. Somebody else might be so panicky and just might, they might not even have a taxi to go on. They might go on the bus to get home. You know, who knows what these people that they're turning away are doing or who they're mixing with. And then, if that isn't disturbing, I got this. Yo, man them, man them. Um, just a quick one still. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, my girl's bridging is a um, police officer. So obviously they get told certain things and get made aware of certain things that aren't necessarily going to be public knowledge straight away. Um, and she basically sent her a message, yeah, about an hour ago, saying that um, right now, Police are in talks with government and the army and that, and they're um, looking to push a bill through on the Thursday that will send the country into lockdown, isn't it? So obviously lockdown. Obviously everyone knows what that means. Can't leave your yard and the military are on the roadside. And you get a fine if you go outside your yard and all that fuck in it. So I'm just letting the man them know that that's just some inside information in it. Like it's not public knowledge just yet. Um, so yeah. Obviously, no one don't panic on that, but um, just let your people them know. So, whoever needs to get their things, get them from now on it, because Thursday, that's when they're trying to push this bill for it. So, yeah. Wow, there's me thinking we've got time. If that's true, it's really kind of scary. It's something, it's just like, Something's happening really, really quickly. On the one hand, they're, um, like I said, you know, there's this false sense of security that they're doing something for people. You know, you've got three months, you don't have to worry about your mortgage. Maybe that's why they're saying it, because they know that the country is going to go in lockdown. So that's why they're saying it, so people don't panic about their mortgage. But it's really quite scary. But I did say whatever America does, the UK is not far behind. That's all I'm going to say. I, I haven't even got any words. Bye-bye. I hope I can upload this. I wonder if they'll allow me to. Well, if you're meant to see it, you'll see it.